Right, and we're here re-turfing this lord. We obviously you've seen the progress and what it looked like before. Um, so once we got all our kind of patio in over here, we made sure obviously we needed to get all our faces in. So we knew the bottom level, the level of where the turf's going to be, where we wanted our level to be. So once we got that in, we've got our shed base in over here with our drive style curve engine in. Um, we were able to start rotivating and levelling out the lawn area. Um, we use a tiller over here, a mantis, a little tiller. Perfect for just um, really just sort of scraping over the top layer. Good for vegetable gardens, but also good for just a top. Basically not churning out big chunks. So, uh, so yeah, we use a little tiller. Um, we've obviously utilised all the soil from the garden and spread that over the entire garden. We've got rid of about an extra two tonnes. And yeah, so once we kind of levelled it all out, we rotivated it, uh, re-levelled, rotivated, re-levelled. And then what we do, we basically go along the whole area, once it's kind of roughly levelled, using your feet to stomp it in. Seems a bit mad, you look like a seagull, but it just makes sure everything's compact. Get your heels in there, it just pushes everything down. And you know that once you lay your turf in a few months time, there's not gonna be a dip that forms. So once you've, um, yeah, once you've rotivated and leveled, go across the whole garden, stomping down the area like this. Might take you an hour or so. Once you've done that, you then want to go back over the area. This is the race, just sort of filling in any of those sort of areas where your heels dug in, and just get your final level before laying your your turf out right. with this bumper, which is made out of a bit of old sleeper uh, MDF and stuff. But yeah, so just bump it so it's nice and compact. But what you want to do with each line is you want to lay a whole roll and then the next line do a half roll like that. So it just offsets the joints. So, uh, and when you when you put it down, put this one down. So once you get to these sort of bits here, the joints, you really want to knead them together, squeeze them in together, like that. Just really push them in, overlap them, and squeeze them in if you can. It's not going to hurt it. So yeah, every line you want to do, just offset the joints. So do a whole roll, then a half roll, whole roll, half roll. Sweep, top down each line if you do. Know. Make sure it's nice and compact. A lot of people do it a bit differently where they kind of level it. They put their framework in like we've done and then they're almost at the start and they kind of work their way up and they use boards to continuously compact. I mean, I, I prefer doing it this way because as I walk back, I'm continuously compacting with my feet, breaking over, it's each their own on that. But how do you do it? Is it, uh, you do it the other way? Um, but yeah, just make sure all your joints are, are overlapped. And, uh, yeah. Now, a lot of people say, roll, use your turf within 
24 hours. I mean, in the summer, yeah. You want to get them uh, rolled out within 24 hours. I mean, to be honest, if you've got a really sunny day, you just want to get it done at like 6 in the morning, I think. It's um, really dry it out sometimes. We're all right at the moment because we're in uh, February, end of Feb. The weather's kind of perfect for it. Not too hot, not too cold, a little bit wet. A bit of rain to help it along. So on here we've just sort of utilised all the soil in the garden, rotivated it, levelled everything gone, but you want to help the roots. What the Australians do is they generally add like an inch of uh, sand underneath the soil. Just helps the, the roots be a bit stronger. So they generally do it on like rugby pitches and things like that. Uh, we're not doing that here. Just a lawn which isn't gonna yet use too much. So uh, we've just utilised the soil in the garden. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you just want to keep going back over yourself like that. Keep bumping over it. Yeah, you should be sweet. Go. Oh, hi guys. I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs>